Hello, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I'm your host, Jeremus. During the winter of 1128, a new member is born into the Vesuvian clan. Elena and Sinor have a new child in Phaedon, their newest son. The Emperor then summons the two to Epicrotea. To celebrate the birth of his newest cousin through Sinor's marriage to his aunt. In any event, I have more documents to look over, so I shall see you a bit later. See you then. Ah, there you are. I've been looking over the archives, and apparently in the winter of 1128, one of Emperor Clodius's um, officers, Ulrich the Fish, who was assigned as the governor of Ormanfard Castle, died at the age of 57. It would seem he had have to, he will have to find a new replacement for Ulrich. Until I find out who it was, I'll keep searching the archives. I see you a bit later, my friend. After much deliberation over potential candidates, Emperor Clodius decides to hire Hacker the Scholar. Your Highness, I am honored to meet you. Let me introduce myself. Very well. Let's skip the pleasantries and get right down to business. Very well. What is it? I could use a healer such as yourself in my company. Well, here you are. You're hired. Anyway, I will equip him and assign him to one of the fortresses. See you a bit later. Ah, there you are, my friend. During the spring of 1129, Asiron of the Embers, the last member of the Embers of the Flame, dies of old age and dies of old age, leaving only one minor clan left. The Lake Rats, who have one member remaining. All the other minor clans of the Karadic Empire have been eliminated. The Emperor <clears throat> feels quite secure in his power, but he still feels that he must destroy the rebels in the field. The Emperor has come up with a new plan to do so, which I will discuss in just a short time. See you then. Apologies, I had to step away for a moment. The Emperor's current plan is to use peace to lure out his enemies. There is much support for making peace with Britannia, so the Emperor shall do so. And he will find Mew and Sir and remove his head. That is the Emperor's current plan to destroy the barbarian rebels. He has no interest in chasing them here and there. He wishes to end them quickly. And what better way than to make peace with them, let them build up their strength and then defeat them while they are unsuspecting. So the Emperor makes peace with Britannia, the only nation currently where there is much support for doing so. Anyway, I shall come back to you a bit later, my friend. See you then. During the summer of 1129, Emperor Clodius happens upon Muinser, as per his plan. And in addition to making peace with the Batanians, Emperor Clodius quickly decides to declare war upon them, to great support.
Although his people are in support of the war, the outcome of the war, being the deaths of many a king, or would-be king, do not sit well with many of the nobles. Now, let's begin. I have a lot of good cavalry with me. And the battle's ours. Good number of them. captured enemies. We only lost 37, not bad. Hm. You're my prisoner, High King Caladog. I mean, Mew and Sir. Sorry, you look a bit like Caladog.
Hmm. I'll get rid of a few recruits. It's fine. I'll get rid of another one here in a moment. Hi, King Muin, sir. For your crimes against the Kauradic Empire, I hereby sentence you to die. Anyway, I will cut away here and come back to you a bit later. See you then. After Emperor Clodius defeats and executes High King Muenser, he goes to Saniopa, where during the summer of 1129, his <clears throat> cousin's wife, Zimena, gives birth to another child in Ranos, another boy. To celebrate the birth, the Emperor holds a tournament in Saniopa. might not end well.
<clears throat> well, that turned out well. And the Emperor wins the final round. Anyway, I have more documents to look over, so I shall come back to you a bit later, my friend. Many months after the birth of the Emperor's second cousin, the Emperor's wife, Hespedia, gives birth to another child. In Ariada, another daughter. Although the Emperor is pleased to have another child, he is somewhat disappointed that it is a girl, as he has many daughters. Already. However, even so, he celebrates the birth with a tournament in Saniopa. And the Emperor is able to, <coughs> oh pardon me, win the tournament. However, around the same time as the birth of his latest daughter, I have di I've discovered something else that happened in the Karadic Empire close to the same time. 
The Emperor, although successful against the barbarians in the field, is quite shocked that after removing the heads of several rebel leaders, the rebels still persist in their treason. The Emperor ultimately feels that it is because of the <clears throat> influx of... It is because of the conquered peoples of the Empire, the barbarian nations which his aunt and father had conquered. Therefore, the Emperor wishes to introduce a new policy, one that he feels will bring about more stability within the Empire. The Emperor passes a... <coughs> A policy of citizenship. Many empires granted the population citizenship, which usually came with a series of rights. Of course, citizenship could not be granted immediately to conquered provinces until the population showed it was willing to adopt the ways of the empire, including language, culture, clothing, and religious cults. Although the emperor hoped it would increase the loyalty of his subjects. It would only increase the loyalty of the Empire's citizenry. However, those of barbarian descent would see a decrease in loyalty to the Empire. <clears throat> or those fiefs which were controlled by lords of a different culture than the ones that, currently, that they currently ruled over. This policy was very much not in favour with the nobles of the Empire, but the Emperor had enough influence that he could overrule them. Unfortunately for the Emperor, this particular policy would have long-term consequences. In any event, I have more documents to look over, so I shall come back to you a bit later, my friend. See you then. Only a few days after the birth of Hespedia's child, Sinor and Alina have twins, Chara, a daughter, and Chamnon, a boy. <laughs> the Vesuvian clan is truly growing at quite a large... At quite a fast pace. In any event, I'll go over more documents and come back to you a bit later. See you then. During the summer of 1130, Arwa the spice vendor dies of old age. The emperor now needs a new governor for one of his castles, so he will look through the potential candidates in Saniopa. Uh, once I've determined who it is, I will come back to you in a bit, in a moment. See you then. After going through the many candidates in Saniopa, the Emperor in the end decides to choose Lasker Longknife. Most of the others were too long in the tooth to take on as a companion. Many were likely to die soon themselves. <laughs> Your Highness, I'm honoured to meet you. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Claudius. Tell me about yourself. Pour yourself a drink, stranger. I'll tell you all you need to know. I guess I'd say that I'm just a lady who didn't care for her this stuff, and took up a spear instead. If you want to know more, hire me. Point me at your enemies, and I'll show you rather than tell you. <laughs> well, you're blunt. I could use someone like you. You're hired. Anyway, I'll give her a few... Uh pieces of equipment and send her on her way. See you a bit later. Ah, there you are, my friend. 
Well, I've returned from the archives, and during the summer of 1130, the Emperor coming to Epicotea, finds that there are several prisoners inside, a few of whom belong to the ruling clans of his enemies. This is High King Rath, ruler, new ruler of the Batania. The Emperor decides to execute this particular criminal. For your crimes against the Karadic Empire, I sentence you to die. Shigan is merely a vassal. To the Khan. And Takir is simply a servant as well. Jinda, however. Is a ruling mem is a member of the ruling clan of Vlandia. I'm going to send your queen a message. This is what happens when you participate in treason. The rest of them I shall ransom back to their families. When I come back, I'll be hunting a few sturgeons. See you then. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm about to attack this um, Batanian party here. So let's do this. Surrender or die, yield a fight. Let's attack. She's rather young. Job Nemos. <laughs> oh, there's one left.
You're my prisoner now, but you won't be for long. Hmm. I'll take some of the sea raiders, increase my roguery skill. I don't really want the looter though. your crimes against the Karadic Empire and those of your family you're hereby sentenced to die well I think this might be a good place to end off the video I do hope you've all enjoyed it please like comment subscribe and I will see you next time see you then